Bible is a collection of books that record history, so in some ways it's a history book, but I think more so it's God's message to the world. The Bible means the beginning of life and everlasting life. A lot of good moral tales. Well, the Bible is how God speaks to me. It's the most effective way that I hear from God. The Bible is a word of God. I don't know, I've never read it. The Bible is a book of life. The guide uh, for my life. The Bible means everything. It is life itself. It is the very word of God. It's how he lets me know his heart and his hope for us. Two thousand years ago, when there were no newspapers, televisions, radios, mobile phones or other modern means of communication, Jesus said something remarkable that has stood the test of time. He said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words will never pass away. And they haven't. It's incredible, but it's true. Through the centuries, people have lived by them and looked to them for guidance. His words have brought eternal life to countless millions, billions in fact. And wherever we are in the world today, we're able to read what he taught, did and said. His words are words of truth. We read them in the Bible. The Bible, made up of Old and New Testaments, provides us with other words too. Its truths are presented in many forms. Its messages have been written by a variety of people from many walks of life and at different times. It enriches our hearts and feeds our souls. To look at the story of the, the prodigal son. Because God gave humans a part to play in revealing his word to us, we have insights into other people's understandings of their faith and the world in which they lived. For instance, when we read the Gospels, we see they are presented as the gospel according to Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Men of God each brought their own insights as they shared the knowledge of God that had been revealed to them. In the Bible's pages we see the development of human understanding of God from early days to a later time when the nature and loving purposes of the Creator were revealed supremely in Jesus. Had mankind's concept of God been adequate from the beginning, there would have been no need for the greater depth of understanding Jesus was to bring. But of course, it wasn't. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus frequently used the phrase, you have heard that it has been said, followed by, but I tell you. By doing so, he corrected misunderstandings and presented, for instance, a God who wants us to love, not hate our enemies, and to do good to them too. The Bible, with rich history, raw emotion and inspired text, should always be read bearing in mind the supreme teaching of the Master himself and the grace and love he so fully shared. Thank you.